Hey, it's Josh here bringing you the next part of the lawn tractor trailer build that I'm working on for somebody else. The next step of what I'm going to do is reattach this little crossbar. Now, all this crossbar is just the stop, I guess, and extra support for the uh, dumping box that's on that trailer. Um, it was previously attached with bolts right about here. I'm just going to go ahead and grind down this metal and then grind some spots on here so I can weld it in its new position permanently. And then while I'm at it, the person that I'm building this for got himself an axle. and some tires for the trailer itself. So I'll have to set this up behind the tractor and get a sense of the height, and then get the axle set up and then get the wheel set up on it to turn it into a trailer as opposed to this just frame state that it's in now. So what I'm gonna do now is just grind and weld. All right, so I have stacked up all of my trailer things to get a sense of and decide where I want to mount the axle, figure out how long I want the tongue to be between the front of the trailer and the tractor itself. This is where I've decided so far. I have approximately made some measurements. I have centered the wheels, or the axle rather, more with the box rather than the frame itself to try and keep the weight a little bit more even and the tongue between the trailer and the tractor is going to be 20 inches including the hitch mechanism and I have decided on the height from the axle down to the frame which is what I'm going to cut next I'm going to cut some flat iron pieces six and a quarter inches which will technically drop the frame an inch from where it is now, but that'll even out the angle better for the box. So that's what I'm gonna do next, is come over to the chop saw, mark off some six and a quarter inch flat iron pieces and chop away. Alrighty then, next up is 
drilling the holes in my flat iron pieces that the axle will get welded to. In order to do that and make sure the holes are all in the same spot, I have my flat iron pieces stacked in this vise type thing and clamped in there hopefully nice and tight. I guess we'll find out. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get cutting. I'm starting off with a quarter inch drill bit. i got to get all the way up to three quarters, so we'll see what happens. Forgot to tighten up the chunk. Ow! So I guess we've kind of jumped ahead a little bit. Um, the last thing I believe you saw was when I cut these over the chop saw. And then I did finish drilling out the hole, the three quarters, three quarters of an inch for the axle. Um, I had went ahead and welded them in place on both sides. Um, what I'm going to do now is just tack this axle into place where it is now because it's even both sides and I test fit the wheels and whatnot and everything will work just like I had it over when I uh, was mocking it up behind the trailer. So I'm going to tack the axle in so nothing moves and whatnot. And what I'm going to end up doing is cutting a, little bit, cutting a couple pieces of my flat iron to go across in here to keep it from, keep these legs from moving too much. And then I'm going to take this piece of flat iron that was on here for something, I forget what it did when it was on front of the snowblower. I'm going to chop a couple pieces off to put some extra supports for the axle this way to get extra support so this doesn't want to move back and forth too much. Let's get that done. Alright, next thing I said I was going to do, which I'm about to do, is make these little 2x2 two two squares to fit into here. Um, I've already cleaned them up on the sanding wheel and then I took my grinder with a flap disc on it and made myself some nice clean spots all the way around. Uh, I've got four of them, two per side. I'm just going to go ahead and weld them on with the welder and then after that I'm going to go ahead and just chop the corners off of these square pieces of flat iron right here not that I need to I'm just going to do it because it'll look a lot better than having it squared off like that and then after that I think I'm going to call it a call it good because I set this all up with the box on it and stuff and stood it in a lot and there is no movement even without these back and forth this way. So I'm not going to bother putting an extra support from the axle down to the frame. I don't really think it's going to need it. And if I need to, I could add it later. 
if it turns out the person that is going to end up using this finds that the axle moves around a lot or something. But for now, I'm just going to weld in these square pieces, cut the corners off, and move on to making the tongue connection. Alright, here's the cart together with the box on top. Of course, right now I don't have any tongue on it, but it's working like it's supposed to, which is good. And of course, it still does, just like it's supposed to. There you go. Next I'll have to make my tongue, but that shouldn't be too bad, so that just about does it for this episode of Weekend Handyman, one more lawn tractor and trailer build. Uh, check us out on Facebook, link in the description. Be sure to subscribe and comment below. I was just uh, cutting some of this stuff out so I can make it fit better and I was unknowingly shooting very hot sparks right at my shirt here, and it actually had caught on fire, both my t-shirt and the shirt I was wearing on top. So, do as I say, not as I do. Make sure you point your sparks away from you, 